suele ser Hi there, welcome to Joseph Creates uh, and today we're going to be creating that little montage that you saw which is basically, uh, you know, uh, uh, a rendition of fast forwarding and slowing down of clips in order to get that speed effect. Um, basically, we're going to be slowing down footage recorded at 24 frames per second, which this is quite hard, but if you use Obstacle Flow with Final Cut Pro, oh, that rhymed, uh, but you can get that done. So let's speed on as quick as possible. Step one, import the video you want to slow down. I'm using Bad Bunny's Mia or Maya. Step two, just press play from the beginning and press M to generate a marker at the point you want to slow down later on in the video. The more the markers, the better. Step three, go on any marker and isolate the clip. By that I mean use Command B to uh, cut off the start of the clip where the first frame happens to the end of the clip. Step four, unhide the retime bar. So press Command R to unhide the retime re bar. Step five, make slow-mo speed ramp incisions using Shift B. Step six, so first you have to find where you want the slow motion to begin. Make a cut there using Shift B. Then move one to four frames forward and make another cut. I prefer two frames or three frames, but make another incision using Shift B. Retime the middle clip between two and 10%. The more frames your middle clip has, the closer to 10% you want to go. Be experimental. Step seven, apply optical or flow effect onto that clip. Go up to your help tab on Final Cut Pro next to the window tab and type optical flow, which should appear. Double click it and it should apply to the clip. Step eight, now you want to retime the clips either end. This can be whatever speed you choose, but remember, you can always manipulate the speed when it comes to timing it with your music. So when it comes to retiming, be experimental. And then step nine, copy steps three to eight for all your mark clips. And then step 10, well, subscribe. So that's it guys. Um, but just to know, make sure you take a look at each clip. Uh, there are some rules where optical flow just does not apply. And I'll list those rules in another video as I don't want to make this very long video and I've made it long already. So I'll just check it out if you want. Um, I don't even know if it's out yet, but I'll make that video. I think that I have.